Step one in setting up your hive TRVs is stroke the cat or the dog, which is very important for stress relief because this can be stressful. We're going to plug in the hive signal boost. If you're living in a big home, turn that on, wait for it to blink a little bit. Then we can look for it on our phones. So we go into the menu. We head down to install devices. And then all the way at the bottom, you'll see install devices. We're looking for other Hive devices. Start. It searches for a while. It may take a minute or so, sometimes five. We click continue. You can name it, but it's automatically named signal boost, which is fine. Then you just save that. And we're done. Now we move on to the TRVs. We can turn those around, push that little tab in, and you can place your batteries in it if you haven't already. In this case, I'm changing the batteries because they're dead. Uh, the other engineer didn't know how to actually set these up, so the batteries just died uh, whilst looking for whilst looking for the phone. Um, so there we go. We've put that on. We put the case back on, and as we're doing that. It's going to either show you the temperature or it's going to show you that it's looking for a connection. If it's not looking for a connection, then we press the button in and hold it until the M symbol appears. So this is what the M symbol looks like. Lovely. That means it's looking for the connection to your phone. Now we need to go to install devices. But this time we're going to Hive Active Heating on the top side and we're clicking Radiator Valve. As soon as we do that, we come up with the setup. You don't need to look at this if you've already installed your Hive TRVs to your uh, TRVs. We just click Next, Next, Next. And we just go through the motions of... It's pretty annoying that we can't skip this. Uh, you're going to have to go through this entire guide every single time. And there we go. We click next again. It starts searching in the same way that it looks for a signal boost as well. Now this took a minute. It can take five minutes sometimes. There we go. It's finally popped up. Then we just click continue. You can name the radiator valve. Now normally it's good to name it by room. So if it's the hallway or a bedroom or a master bedroom, whatever it is, that's what you would name it. If it's in the hallway, you'd name it hallway. If it's upstairs hallway, you'd name it upstairs hallway. And it just makes it easy for you to control it so you know which one it is. Now, heat on demand is quite complicated to explain. Um, so I normally just skip that and say do it later. Most customers don't actually want that on. Now we want to move on to the next radiator and we go through the same motions here. So there we go, that's the next radiator with a Hive TRV on it. So I'm going to do the same thing, click the tab in and pull up, remove the batteries, put in new batteries. Then we're going to twist that round clockwise and put the cover back on. Now in some cases, the M symbol will already be showing. But in this case, it's just showing temperature. So we hold the button down. That puts it into search mode. There we go. There's the M symbol showing again. Now we can search for this on the phone. So again, it's just going through the guide. We're searching for it. Again, it will take about a minute. I'm going to fast forward here. This one took a bit longer. I think this took about a minute and a half to actually find the radiator valve. And we click continue. And then we name it. Now this part sometimes happens with the Hive app. It's totally skipped the naming section. So it's just said finish. So the radiator is now named radiator valve one. We're going to manage devices this time and as you can tell, there's one radiator called Radiator Val 1. We go into there and we'll just rename it. This is why it's best to just install each radiator valve 
individually, one at a time, because if it finds a lot of radiator valves all at once, it's very difficult to name them. But I'll show you how to do it if you have done that by mistake. So that's what we'll look at next. So I've renamed it now. It's all correct, but the Hive app does do that. It just sometimes closes on itself. It sometimes just fails to rename it. That's how you rename it. Now, let's say you've connected a lot of radiator valves and you don't know which one's which. The quickest way is just to put the temperature up on one of them and see which one changes. Then you can name it according to what room it's in. So as you can tell, the radiator valve is now showing 22.5, which is the same as the phone. Now I've got another 17 radiators to do this with. So I'll just cut forward to the end where we sort of customize the rest of it. So how to customize it on your phone so that it works best. All right, so going into this, you've got the menu. Within the menu, you can manage devices. Over here, you can see how much battery you have. So it shows the battery for each radiator. Then you have a symbol here, which is a plug symbol. That indicates something that's plugged in. So if we go into this, this is going to be the receiver. It is also called a thermostat. It shares the name with the other thermostat, which is battery powered. So they are different but you can identify them by the battery operated one is this one and uh, the powered one is the receiver which is normally right next to your boiler. We've got a signal booster there and we have what your signal's like. So if you're having issues, for instance, with a radiator valve, it may be too far away. Have a look at the, sim the uh, signal boost here. What is the signal like? If it's quite low, it might be that on occasion, this valve is not connecting. So we can see the signal there is great because we've now fitted a signal booster. Now with Hive, unfortunately, there's no grouping system. So what I'll have to do is take the top floor. So we'll take these top floors and hold it down. That then moves. I'm gonna then drag this across and make the top floor the third page and just move that so what I'll do is I'll group it on the on these pages um, which is the only way so we've got the top floor and we'll just put them there okay and then what I'll do is I'll put the middle floor all here and what we'll do is we'll put the lounge back here. Now you've got the bedroom. So we'll put the bedroom on the middle page. And then we'll put this bedroom here on the middle page as well. Put that down, we'll put heat in at the top there. And what we'll do in the middle is we'll put a boost so we'll create an action. So you can create actions here, build your own, and press next. And then you can tap there. You want the thermostat to come on. You want it to come on. Most people want it at about 20 degrees. Done. How long you want to boost it for, so you can boost it for an hour. Add that action, right? Uh, now you can name it and do all sorts of stuff and. You, you can say 20 degrees only for certain rooms. So we'll name and save and just say, this one is one hour boost, um, one hour boost 20 C, All right? Save that. So there we go. You can add to Siri so you can record and say Siri boost for an hour or whatever you want to do, but that's up to you to do. So what we can now do is we can um, we can say that's done. And now if we want heating on for an hour, click it and that's it. So all the heating will now come on at 20 degrees, 
But if you want, say, um, if you want, say, the lounge to stay cool, you can then put that down to 19. So the, the lounge will only ever go up to 19. All right, so that's how you do that. And because they don't have a group feature, what I found might work is you could go here and create a quick action. Okay, and you can say, we're gonna boost the middle floor. So you create a quick action, uh, next, add, then you're gonna go thermostat, and we're gonna boost this to, because the, this is where the bedrooms are, I'll say 19.5, uh, which is a bit cooler, add to action. Then what we can do here is we can add each individual uh, radiator valve. So we can say, uh, bedroom, two would also be set at 19 and a half add action you can then go add another one and say um this one here which is bed the second radiator in bedroom two and we can add this and say that one should also be 19.5 add action and then you can go here and we'll add the master bedroom and we'll say that one also should be let's say 19 okay so we'll say 19 for that one and it'll boost for now as well okay and then we can go here and we can say um radiator for the hallway we'll boost that to 19.5 as well um, oh, what we'll say was we'll I said 19 for the hallway because why not? And then we can add another one, then we can go here and we can say the cat's room. Now, the cat's room they've got first, so cat's room we'll say we can boost that to 18.5 and add action. So now that's all the rooms for the middle floor. So I can put middle, mid floor one hour boost. Okay, so now we can finish that. So now you've got that symbol there. So we can say done. So now if I click this, the heen's gonna come on and it's going to boost the middle floor to those temperatures.